I would like to thank the Fifth International Conference on Management, Engineering, Science, Social Science, and Humanity, ICOMMAS 20, for providing me with this platform, allowing me to share my view on the effective prevention strategy to reduce spread of COVID-19. Wearing a mask and uh, testing everyone who has been in contact with COVID-19 patients are effective prevention strategy to be used the COVID-19. Wrong prevention strategy are responsible for the highest rates of COVID-19 infection in the second wave of COVID-19 in some countries, such as German and United States. In any case, we can see that countries like China and South Korea just has little problem in the second wave of COVID-19. One reason is that people in China and South Korea wear masks in public. Western countries such as the United States, the United Kingdom and Italy had not test everyone who has been exposed to COVID-19 patients. This is test those who have symptoms of COVID-19, where asymptomatic carrier, or we call it as siren carrier, are not tested and isolated, resulting in accumulation many siren carrier. This siren carrier caused a high degree of infection in this country. But China and South Korea test all people who had contact with COVID-19 patients, even if they were not sick, no symptom. Therefore, we call this country virus prevention country. Experts now believe that China and South Korea virus prevention strategy is more efficient at curbing, curbing the spread of the virus. Research team report in nature think that small or no symptom might be passing the virus to 60% of all infection. A new study pins down the source of the lepid strain of the coronavirus in China previously, people with little or no symptom. A new research from US has found that wearing a face mask can significantly decrease a person's chance of becoming infected with COVID-19. And even use alone is more effective at prevention the spread of the virus than other protective methods. Other protective methods such as social distancing implement in the United States are insufficient by themselves in protecting the public. The current issue and challenge, after Wuhan report a cluster, just six new cases on the weekend, May 9, after 35 days without reporting any new infection in the city, we see that the China city of Wuhan has tested its entire population of 11 million people for COVID-19. The max testing 11 million people end up reporting 206 cases of active COVID infection, all of which which classify as asymptomatic, means the 206 cases is all no symptom. The question is, why did the city test anyone if so few people? Six new cases, as mentioned, are positive. Because testing 11 million people requires a lot of money, as we see, need a lot of money and resources. The answer is that China goal is to identify all asymptomatic patients, or we call it silent carrier, in China. In this way, China will, will not cause any serious infection to the subsequent COVID-19 wave.
as we can see, in addition to Wuhan, more than 10 million people in Beijing had also been tested by COVID-19 due to the resurgence of COVID-19 case spread in Beijing in July. China's top respiratory disease expert, Chong Nan San say, local transmission China has been basically blocked. He say, right now, the fatality rate is only 0.9 or 1%. He say, he suppose China don't have too many asymptote patients. If China did, they would transmit the asymptote patient will transmit the virus COVID to other people and pushing the number of confirmed cases. Hong Nan San also said, asymptote infection is highly contagious. Even where isolation is implemented, the R value may reach 3 or even 3.5. It means its isolation is implemented. If no isolation, sure, or higher than this value, which means that one person can infect 3 to 3.5. This number is very high. The study of clinical characteristics of 24 asymptote infection with COVID-19 screened among close contact in Nanjing, China, SMIs the history of close relationships of diagnosed patients detect 24 non-symptomatic patients and review that the COVID-19 patients do not have symptoms that could potentially provoke others. The importance of this study is to know that patients with COVID-19 are not symptomatic is highly contagious. The duration of the infection may be up to three to four weeks. As we know, incubation normally, as normally we know, is two weeks, 14 days. And that's their infection patient may have several diseases. I mean, if you infect by those non-symptoms, you can maybe need to go to ICU. For current threat. We have seen that infections are still increasing in most parts of the United States. And some American citizens still organize anti-mask gathering. So it is hard to decrease the infection. However, China's people wear masks in public. And China tests everyone in Wuhan and Beijing, as mentioned, to identify and isolate silent virus carrier. Therefore, as we see, the infection rate in China is very low. For United States, we have seen that the infection, as mentioned, are still increasing in small parts, is in most parts of the United States. For example, Nevada caused Nevada mandatory mask on June 25. However, due to New York already mandatory mask on April 15. We can see from the graph, the infection rates of COVID in New York has decreased. The study, face mask considered reduce the COVID-19 case in Germany, a synthetic control method approved. The city of Jena, German, has seen no new infection for eight days, since making mask mandatory. The news were raised hope masks could be effective in containing the virus and add to call for them to be made mandatory outside. Since then, German face fine to up to 5,000 as well as the face mask become mandatory. As we see, face masks to remain mandatory in soft across Germany on July 7. We have seen that the number of infections among Germans has decreased. 
The latest report from the University of Maryland also mentioned that wearing masks in public may help slow the process of COVID-19 pandemic. Research report published in Natural Medicine, the result identified surgical face masks significantly reduce detection of infrared virus RNA in respiratory droplets and coronavirus RNA in aerosol. The research also saw widespread mask wearing could prevent COVID-19 second wave. The research a modeling framework to assess the light effectiveness of bring, uh, face mask sorry, in combination with lockdown in managing the COVID-19 pandemic. Read by scientists at the Britain's Cambridge and Greenwich University, subjects lockdown alone will not stop the resurgence of the COVID-19, but that's even homemade masks can dramatically reduce transmission rates if enough people wear them in private. Read author Dr. Richard Starr said, our analysis support the immediate and universal adoption of face masks by the public. Study also saw 100% face masks used to class second, third COVID-19 wave. A research, face mask against COVID-19. And evidence review also recommends that public officially and government strongly encourage the use of wash sprays for the face mask in public, including the use of appropriate regulation. As we see for June 5, the World Health Organization updated COVID-19 advice to encourage wearing masks in public. The World Health Organization technical expert on COVID-19, Maria Maria Van Kerkho, say we are advising government to encourage that the general public wear a mask and we specified a fabric mask, that is, a non-medical mask. We had new research findings, she added. We have evidence now that if it is done properly, it can provide a barrier for potentially infection dropper. World Health Organization, organization sets six conditions for ending a coronavirus lockdown disease Transmission is under control, which is a top priority before any country leaves the drop now. non mandatory masks difficult to prevent the indirect transmission, transmission of the COVID-19 virus. Therefore, disease trans transmission is difficult to control. A study that indicated indirect transmission of the virus occur, perhaps resulting from virus contamination of common object virus in a confirmed space or spread from a simple infection person. A study also identified airborne transmission as the dominant growth for the spread of COVID-19. The report also mentioned face masks can stop second and third COVID waves. A few years ago, in response of the World Health Organization, wants everyone to stay at home and pray with the game. In addition, one of the conditions for the World Health Organization to end the coronavirus stop now is for the community to be fully educated, engaged, and empowered to live under a new normal. Therefore, it is important to create a new game and well educate everyone. Let everyone know how to prevent the COVID infection. The new game must educate everyone about the importance of two effective prevention strategies, wearing a mask and testing everyone who has been in contact with COVID-19. The new game also must educate everyone that 
other methods are also essential to prevent COVID-19. Preventative study can be divided into two types, external prevention and internal prevention. Reference as shown. On March for the additional information, on March 24, my finding, wearing a mask and testing everyone who has been in contact with COVID-19 can reduce the spread of COVID-19 in any country. Has been sent to crisis preparedness and response center, CPLC, or the Minister of Health Malaysia. For the next day, on March 25, Karen, the coordinator of the CPLC of the Minister of Health Malaysia, responds that the Minister of Health Malaysia really much appreciate my finding. The Minister of Health Malaysia is currently, start from March 25, actively texting people who have close contact with people who meet the last of the PUI, or we call it as person under investigation criteria. My findings that the Minister of Health of Malaysia know that all eligible pupils must be tested if they meet the last of the PUI criteria, regardless of whether they have symptoms or not, and to isolate the asymptom carrier of COVID-19. In so to prevent the widespread of COVID-19 in Malaysia, as in some countries such as the United States and the United Kingdom and Italy. As the asymptomatic COVID-19 carrier to spread COVID-19 across the country caused many infections in the country, deep and huge economy loss. We can see that uh, Director General Minister of Health Malaysia, Dr. Noh Insan, also say most COVID patients in Malaysia show mild or no symptoms. And also 80% of healthy students who test positive also show no symptoms. And you can say Thailand also encouraged scope mask and need surgical mask. And on March 25, Thailand's mask wear mask and on, on all trains. And uh, April 19, medical experts already say Thailand COVID curve is flattening. And as we have seen, uh, about a month after the mandatory mask, Thailand COVID curve has flattening. On June. Six, the COVID-19 pandemic in Malaysia at uh, Wikipedia mentioned that Director General Minister of Health Malaysia nor his some encouraged member of the public to wear masks following advice from the World Health Organization that it helped to deduce infection. Dr. Tavisi Vishano Yotin, spokesman for the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration Thailand, Say that May 4 was the first day when Thailand did not have a new case of local infection, because the 18 cases found that they come from quarantine facility. Sorry. Health Director General Minister of Malaysia, Dr. Dr. Nor Hisam, say that Malaysia's first report of zero local transmission was on July 1, when an import case was recorded. So, therefore, if the Minister of Health of Malaysia also adopt a mandatory mask strategy on March 25, follow my uh, finding, Malaysia maybe can be recovered faster like Thailand at May 4. In any case, from August 1, 2020, Malaysia must wear masks in public place, and those who do not wear masks in public place will be fined out to 1,000 Malaysia delegates. It means Malaysia or implement all my findings. So congratulations to Malaysia and uh, thanks for listening. I end my speech. Thanks. Dr. Hon. Uh, thank you, uh, mm -hmm. Professor Peter Chu, yes. for a very enlightening presentation. I think wearing masks is uh, very, very important and also testing, uh, mass testing of uh, the public.